Hello and a very good day to Dr. Mativanan Jaganathan and my fellow friends. So, my name is Muhammad Akumareza bin Mahir and my metric number 280530. So, I will present about our group project as we are group 2 and uh, our B2B electronic marketplace named stitchlab.co. So, I will present uh, the introduction and platform selection. So, Welcome to stitchlab.co. So, first of all, I would like to start with the introduction. As we know, stitchlab.co, our group provide a high quality fabric that we, that we become a wholesaler. So, our supplier, we get the bulk, the quantity bulk of fabric at Alcaria, which is our professional team has survey and make an analysis to the most quality fabric that provide with a good price. So our stitchlab.co have been a wholesaler to, to customer that want a bulk or high quality fabric, bulk quantity or else. As we as a wholesaler, we provide good product to, to satisfy our customer needs. So many variety of uh, fabric that we have. So that's all for introduction. Hi and good day everyone. I'm Aini Sofia and I'll be presenting two part of this assignment. The first one is a 3.0 business idea and industry. And the second one is a 7.0 marketing strategy. Like any other company, a good business idea is the fundamental reason for starting a company and this idea should probably be put into a long-term plan to tackle the basic aspect that need attention in an organization. This business idea doesn't have to be original, however, it must have the ability to capture a portion of the target market. For stitchlab.co, we have a vision, mission and three core values that we prioritize when serving our customer, which are customer-first approach, respect and trust as well as passion towards success. Next, for target market and industry analysis, the textile sector is closely linked to fashion, which country like China, Pakistan, India, Bangladesh and Malaysia being significant players in the global economy. However, Malaysia has been the top emerging nation in terms of textile industry growth, domestic infrastructure, exports and manufacturing expansion over the past decade. As of 2023, Malaysia's textile industry is the fastest growing with textile being one of the top three foreign money earners. StitchLab.co highlights the top three market target market in the fashion and textile industries, which are women, ages 25 to 29 group and Muslimah. For market size and growth potential, the current statistic has stated two things, which is the expected revenue that can be generated and the market reach in Malaysia by 2027. Furthermore, the country's is well-established textile industry is one of the major forces boosting growth in the textile manufacturing market in Malaysia. The fact that there are many textile manufacturing enterprises in Malaysia is a clear proof as to why Malaysia is considered well-established in the textile industry. And the Malaysian textile industry has high expectation for the industry's ability to grow and contribute to the nation's economy in the future as well. Okay. So now we move to the platform selection. So this part is very important, which is we need to choose the best platform, the place that become a place for we to sell our products and commercialize our product. So for the platform selection, stitchlab.co choose alibaba.com as our B2B platform for selling online that many of us know alibaba.com is a worldwide vast global network that have millions users registered so alibaba.com have many users that we can that stitchlab.co stitch can use it to commercialize our product and promote our product in the website so as we providing a high quality fabric, it shows that Alibaba.com has met our criteria to sell our products there. Also, 
don't we forget about the transaction. The transaction is also made the user friendly, which is it is easily to check in or check out at the transaction. So we use Alibaba.com as it can build strong business relationship. Alibaba.com also can satisfy our customer problem to buy the power product. So that's all for me. Thank you. Hi, I'm Laili. My metric number is 280807 and I will continue with product or service offer under value proposition. StitchLab.co offered three fabrics to the customers. The first one is plain dyed that indicates fabrics that solid colored and have been dyed in a single color. There is four materials under plain dyed that are velvet, chiffon, cotton and satin. Velvet is luxurious fabric with a soft texture used in upholstery, formal clothing and accessories. Adds grandeur and elegance to fashion and interior designs. Chiffon is lightweight, translucent fabric with an interior appearance and delicate trick. Used in formal wear, scarf, bridal, and evening gowns, as elegance to any look. Cotton is breathable, cozy, and naturally absorbent. Used in home textiles, bed sheets, towels, curtains, and clothing, t-shirts, dresses, casual wear. Versatile and comfortable. The last one is setting, that is smooth, shiny fabric used for its quick sides, clothing, and ornamental purposes. Gives a luxurious feel and appearance. Next fabric is printed. Fabrics that have patterns, designs, or images applied to them using various printing techniques. There is two materials under printed that are kain pasang and songket. Kain pasang is vibrant colors, intricate designs, like weight. Perfect for traditional medicine clothing, baju kurung kebaya, and decorative uses, tablecloth, curtains, upholstery, adds cultural and artistic flair to any setting. Songket is luxurious hand-woven fabric with metallic tricks. Worn in Southern Asian cultures for weddings and cultural celebrations, sarong's kebaya's head scalps represents grandeur and legacy. The last one is decorative. Decorative is used in sewing products, wedding decoration, or for creating intricate details in fashion design. There is three materials under decorative that are tulay, organza, and lace. Tulay, delicate and lightweight fabric with fine knitting. Adds a romantic touch to fashion designs, tutus, wheels, bridal dresses, ball gowns with attractive, voluminous effects. Organza is translucent fabric with a crisp texture. Perfect for formal and bridal clothing, overlays, curtains, and table runners. Adds refinement and class to any environment or outfit. Lace, delicate fabric with intricate woven patterns, enhances feminine clothing and decorative essence. Adds elegance and romanticism, to fashion and interior designs. Next point is competitive advantage and differentiation. First one, high quality textiles. Premium materials advanced manufacturing strict quality control for competitive age. Second, innovative textile offerings are in the investment for cutting edge products, performance and sustainability. Third, distinctive designs. That stand out with trending fabrics, custom services and a skilled design team. Fourth, efficient supply chains management. Deliver quality products on time while minimizing cost through improved sourcing, inventory management and logistics. Fifth, excellent customer service. Stand out with personalized assistance, quick responses, and flexible order options. Certain relationships and meet specific clients' needs for a competitive advantage. The last one, powerful brand and marketing. Be unique with a strong brand tied to excellence, innovation, and customer happiness. Use smart marketing, a strong online presence, targeted ads, and adapt strategies to stay competitive. Last points under value proposition is unique selling points. Exceptional customer service. At StitchLab.co, we value our customers and provide professional assistance from knowledgeable staff. We offer personalized favorite recommendations and go the extra mile to ensure customer satisfaction. Next, hassle, hassle free returns. At StitchLab.co, we have a generous guarantee and return policy. If you are not satisfied with your fabric, we make the turn, uh, process simple and easy. We provide clear instructions, speedy refunds, and hassle free swaps to ensure a great customer experience. Lastly, uh, reliable on time delivery. At StitchLab.co, we partner with Alibaba Express for reliable and efficient delivery. We work closely with their delivery crew to ensure precise tricking, effective logistics, and safe transportation. With us, you can trust timely delivery, giving you confidence in planning your projects. I will continue with supply chain management. A business needs a reliable supplier because they are like the backbone of the supply chain. Without them, the chain will not work effectively. Hence, in order to obtain high quality fabric material, we will purchase it from Alcaria Sundram Berhad. They specializing in fine fabrics since 1981. They aim to provide a wide range of product selection, ensure customer satisfaction achieve 100%, staying current with grain, and ensuring fast shipping of the products. The supplier selection process involves the following steps. First, identification and assessment of capabilities. It refers to potential supplier abilities to fulfill our specific requirement. For example, Alcaria has stated that they are well experienced. Second, assessment of customer feedback. It's crucial to collect customer feedback to understand the supplier performance. For example, one of Algaria customers said that Algaria have good 
quality and nice design with affordable price. Lastly, evaluation of quality standard. We must evaluate the supplier manufacturing process, quality control, certification, and regulation. For example, Alcaria has stated that they have quality assurance. The Prosumen process involves the following steps. First, search for supplier. We conduct online research to find potential supplier. Our potential supplier is Alcaria Sundaram Berhad. Second, qualify supplier. We will evaluate their information through their official website to see how far they are performing. Third, negotiate term. We will negotiate the payment term of 30% upfront and 70% upon delivery. Fourth, issue purchase order. We will order our desired fabric with Alcaria Sundaram Berhad. Fifth, invoice and billing. After we receive invoice from Alcaria, we will make 30% upfront payment to them. Six, shipment and delivery. Alcaria will use the best shipping courier, which is FedEx Malaysia, to deliver our product. Seven, payment. Upon we receive our product, we will make final payment, which is 70% to Alcaria. Inventory management steps. First, keep inventory level optimized. Avoid excessive stock by using sales trend and demand forecasting to order the right quantity of product. This reduces costs and prevents outdated and unsellable items. Second, organize the inventory. Systematically arrange product and use label or barcode for easy tracking. Consider using inventory management software to maintain accurate record and monitor stocks level. Third, Automate inventory management. Use automation for real-time tracking, accurate stock count, and efficient order processing. It reduces it reduce error, improve efficiency, and provide valuable insight of decision making. Logistic and delivery can be divided into two categories which are inbound logistic or known as receiving. First, supplier coordination. We will regularly contact our supplier to receive update on the progress of our order. Second, receiving an inspection. When shipment arrive, we will check the packaging to ensure it match our order. Third, inventory management. We will label each product and place it in storage shelf. Fourth, quality control. We will then carefully check the quality of our product. Fifth, documentation and record keeping. We will keep all the documents related with our supplier as evidence in future. Outbound logistics or known as shipping. First order processing. After customer place order, we will prepare the product as ordered. Second, packaging and labeling. We will carefully roll the product and placing it in protective plastic cover, then label the customer information details on it. Third, carrier selection. We will choose the reputable shipping company such as FedEx Malaysia to deliver our customer products. Fourth, shipment tracking. We will provide our customer with tracking number so they can track their product whereabouts. Fifth, customer service. We will try to assist customer if they have inquiries or problems. B2B customer segmentation identifies unique audience segment based on shared traits, enhancing marketing engagement by understanding features, needs and behaviors. This helps B2B companies focus on crucial sections for effective marketing strategies. StitchLab.co target audience and segmentation are divided into three segments which are filmography segmentation, need-based segmentation and behavior segmentation. Here in stitchlight.co, we utilize various online platforms including e-commerce marketplaces, social media and websites to connect with customers and promote our fabric wholesale business. These platforms offer unique services and information to customers allowing stitchlight.co to reach a wider audience and increase brand awareness. By leveraging these platforms, stitchlight.co effectively engages with its customers and maintains a strong online presence. Next, advertising is a one-way communication whose purpose is to inform potential customers about products and services and how to obtain them. 
However, promotion involves disseminating information about a product, product line, brand or company. It is one of the four key aspects of the marketing mix and advertising is a form of promotion. StitchLab.co uses search engine optimization, SEO, email marketing, referral marketing and content marketing since we are an online wholesaler in Alibaba.com. Good day to doctor. My name is Tani Tan with metric number 279181 and I'm going to present about the revenue model of StitchLab company. To start with, I will first present the pricing strategy of our company. Alibaba is a marketplace for merchants where we can purchase things in bulk at discount rates. StitchLab company purchase all of its fabrics from there. Due to the fact that suppliers and retailers will buy textiles in large quantities, our business has opted to offer textile products to them. The pricing strategy approaches used by our company is bundle pricing. Bundle pricing is a form of business strategy where companies combine several goods into one package and sell it for one price as opposed to allocating separate expenses to each item. With branded pricing, significant buyer supplies may be gathered while still making the buyer an offer. For the first half of the year, our business will use this pricing strategy to both enter into the market and provide clients or purchasers with high quality clothes at the lowest possible price. For our products, we will count as normal price if the buyers buy less than 20 rows. On the other hand, they can get bundle price if they buy more than 20 rows, which is cheaper than normal price. Buyers can also get discount of 40 ringgit if they buy more than 20 rows, which can be more attractive for those who want to buy more. While for the delivery, it will be 16 days lead time for those who buy less than 20 rows. However, the buyers can negotiate the time if they buy more than 20 rows. There will be free shipping discount as well when customers purchase more than 20,000 ringgit in the first three months. Next, there are three payment methods available if you buy from us. Firstly, credit or debit card. For example, Visa, MasterCard, American Express, and Discover. Secondly, digital wallets such as PayPal, Apple Pay, Google Pay, Amazon Pay, or Touch and Go e-wallet. Thirdly, bank transfers. While for the payment processing, there are several steps. First of all, authorization, which we send the payment data to the payment gateway or merchant service provider for permission after the consumers place the purchase. The second step is capturing, where we withdraw the money from the customer's account. The third step is settlement, where the payment processor moves it from the customer's account to our authorized merchant account. And the last step is reconciliation and reporting, where we compare the transactions that were handled by the payment processor to the sales data it has on the file. For our forecasted sales, we expect it to increase year by year, which is from 1 million ringgit in year 2023 to 2 million ringgit in year 2027. That revenue means projected income minus projected expenses. The projected fixed cost is 110,000 ringgit, while the projected variable cost is 390,000 ringgit. Therefore, the total cost will be 500,000 ringgit. In order to calculate the projected revenue of 2023, we need to use the projected income to minus the projected expenses. The projected income of the year 2023 is 1 million ringgit. Therefore, we need to use 1 million ringgit to minus 500,000 ringgit and we'll get 500,000 ringgit as the projected revenue of year 2023. We have analyzed several risks that our company may encounter. First of all, threats of new entrants. Since Stitch Lab Company is a freshly founded business, buyers first found it difficult to trust us. The second risk would be trend changes in the apparel industry. Due to customer interest, industry need, and other considerations, Apparel trends, especially fashion, are always changing. While the third risk is price fluctuations of natural resources. Natural resource prices are unclear globally because of a variety of reasons, including climatic change, public interest, and commercial demands. It will have an impact on the amount and caliber of products basic ingredients. In order to mitigate the risk, we have five several strategies. For the first risk, first, 
we need to differentiate the goods and then we need to force the connections with current clients. Not only that, we need to make research and development investment. Well, we also need to build solid connection with our suppliers. For the second race, we need to keep up with the most recent changes. And then we need to keep product line broad. Not only that, we need to create a distinctive brand identity. And lastly, we need to analyze consumer data and feedback. While for the third race, we need to make long-term agreements with suppliers. Besides, we need to keep the right amount of merchandise on hand. Not only that, we need to also increase the operational effectiveness of our company. So I think that's all from me. I'll pass it to the next presenter to continue our presentation. Thank you. Yes, I will continue with implementation plan. First and foremost is timeline and milestones. As you can see on the slide, there is a figure of timeline and milestones of stitchlab.co from January until December 2023. Future objectives of stitchlab.co. Our goals include expanding market share, building strong client relationship, collaborating with influential designers, gathering valuable insights through data analytics and fostering innovation in the textile industry. Next, I will explain about resource allocation and management in StitchLab.co's journey to success. Resource allocation is key. Financial resource allocation involves budgeting wisely for operational expenses, marketing R&D, and future investments. Material resource allocation efficiently manage raw materials to meet demand, minimize waste, and reduce costs. Human capital resource allocation focuses on finding and retaining skilled workers, providing training, and creating a supportive workplace. Risk management allocates resources to identify and mitigate potential disruptions. Effective resource allocation optimizes operations, lowers costs, and ensures long-term success. The last point is monitoring and evaluation. At StitchLab.co, key performance indicators KPIs are essential. We use operational and financial metrics like production efficiency, revenue, and customer satisfaction to try and evaluate our performance. These indicators help us measure our progress towards our goals and make informed decisions. Accurate data collection is crucial for StitchLab.co. We gather relevant information from different sources like financial records and client feedback. By using software and technology, we streamline the data collection process, ensuring that we have reliable and up-to-date information. This allows us to make informed decisions based on trustworthy data. Continuous improvement vital for StitchLab.co's success, we regularly monitor and analyze data to identify areas that need improvement by optimizing our processes and making data-driven decisions. We ensure ongoing growth and development in the dynamic textile industry. In conclusion, StitchLab.co is a new wholesale textile company operating on Alibaba.com. Through segmentation strategies, we can cater to specific customer needs and attract wider audience. Our advertising methods such as SEO, Referral marketing, email marketing, and content marketing help us to reach more customers and build brand loyalty. StitchLab.co stand out by offering unique design, eco-friendly product, efficient supply chain management, and strong customer relationship. We do have challenges like building trust because we are new entrants, keeping up with fashion trends, and managing fabric shortage due to price fluctuation. However, embracing B2B e-commerce through online platform allow us to maintain and expand our business globally. That's all from our group. Thank you.